Hello and welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture we start the configuration of the headquarter or HQ48 firewall. So let's see how we do it. Let's go now to the graphical user interface. So 172.16.100.1. Let's log in. Admin, no password. So enter. I will change the, the password later. And anyway, remind later. So here it is. Now on the left side, you have the menu of the user interface and we will go to VPN. And let's go now to IPsec wizard. Just click on IPsec wizard. And now we have to create the tunnel. So there are some templates available, template type, site to site, remote access or custom, if you want to define your own. And let's look what's available. So IPsec tunnel templates side to side so 240 gates side to side with the cisco dial up with the 40 gate dial up with the cisco firewall now in this case so ipsec ipsec wizard in this case we are configuring a side to side and remote device type it's a 40 gate so the default uh, the default options are the ones that we need so let's say here what's the vpn what's the vpn name we will name it We'll name it what? We'll name it branch, let's say branch 1, 48, too many letters, branch 1 it's enough. No net between sides because we have a direct connection like you see here on the right. Uh, they are directly connected, uh, kind of directly connected but through the internet no netting devices in between, so no net. Now let's click next. So here is what uh, the configuration guide is asking for us. So the remote device IP address is, and we have to provide it here. So it's 90, 90, 90, and 90. So let's uh, let's fill that in. So 90.90.90.90. You know what? This is um, one thing that I have uh, told you, but we haven't yet uh, tested it. So before going through the configuration, we should first uh, we should first see that we have connectivity between the two the two 40 gates. So let's go to let's say the HQ 40 gate, and I will now want to ping. So how do we do that? Let's say and again, let's say admin, and now we say execute execute ping and let's try to ping the other end so 90.90.90.90 .90 okay so now that the ping is successful we can continue with the with the configuration so basically we are trying to make sure that nothing in between uh, will provide uh, any trouble so that's the idea of um, making sure that connectivity is good before going on with the with the configuration or advanced configuration now the authentication method is pre-shared key so uh, signature meaning uh, uh, configuration using certificates. We are doing a basic side-to-side uh, -side VPN, so we'll use pre-shared key. Now the pre-shared key, let's say it's Fortinet. And now you have to just click next. Now policy routing, the local interface. So what's the, uh, local, uh, the local LAN IP address? So 192.168.1.1, so port number two. And this is the local subnet. 192.168.1.1 now in the remote subnet we have to provide the remote LAN subnet so 192.168.2.0 slash 24 basically the traffic between these two subnets 192.168.1.0 and 2.0 will be inserted in the tunnel so this is where um, the, the this is where the VPN tunnel or the VPN wizard configuration knows exactly what traffic will be included and encrypted in the tunnel so now we just have to create uh, to click on create and let's see so vpn setup authentication policy writing this is done the vpn has been set up for phase one interface branch one local address branch one local this is uh, these are objects that have been defined in the 48 vm phase two interface called also branch one and some other configuration that has been added now i can say show tunnel list and we're going in this uh, in this menu IPsec tunnels 
and the status now it's inactive and it's obviously inactive because we haven't yet configured the, the IPsec tunnel on the other end so on the branch if I now select it and click edit just for your reference we don't know by looking at this configuration what's exactly included in phase one and phase two and uh, if you want to know uh, what's this configuration in the template again this is a pre-configured template you'll you'll find it in the in the 40 gate vm you will have to click on convert to custom tunnel and now we can go and click on edit and see uh, and also change the options that have been uh, that have been chosen so for phase one if i click on edit is going to use DES and authentication MD5 and also another another SA uh, proposal so security association proposal DES and SHA-1 Diffie Hellman groups 14 and 5 key lifetime and so on so again not that the 48 firewall doesn't know uh, triple DES or AAS or something like that but uh, it's running in evaluation mode and these are the only option uh, only options available here the same for phase two now if I say edit so if I click on the pencil uh, here basically um, it's represented what's the local address and remote address meaning what traffic again will be encrypted or inserted in the tunnel and if you also go into advanced you'll have the possibility like in phase one to choose what's your encryption what's your authentication if you want to enable or not PFS so perfect for secrecy uh, by the way pfs means that after a period of time which in this case by default is 40 uh, 43 200 seconds uh, the the keys the keys used in the encryption um, and authentication will be changed so new ones will be generated that's that's what pfs means it means using twice uh, so two times the keys and different keys but anyway we don't need to change anything here it's just uh, it's just that for your reference to understand more where do you go if you want to see the uh, the configuration applied and what does uh, what does the template mean uh, to to be more to be more precise so anyway this is the configuration for the hq48 in the next uh, lecture we will configure the branch uh, location and see if the vpn comes up thanks a lot